Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you the reverse single crochet. Now it's a bit of a tricky stitch to do, but um, it has a really nice result. As you know, when we do um, when we do rows, when we're crocheting in rows, doing our lumigurumi in rows, we very often get a row of one side, and then the next row is the little V from the other side. And I don't have anything here to actually show you maybe i do here we go um so here we go we've got a normal row here and then we have a row of v's and a normal row and a row of v's and a normal row and a row of v's and it can look a bit messy well with the reverse single crochet you have all your little loops on one side and all your little v's on the other and it, it does have quite a nice look to it. This is another little swatch that I had made. All your little loops are on the one side. And then all the little V's are on the other side. It's very easy to do. So I thought I would show you how. What we're going to do, we'll start by doing a chain of 10. So wrap your hook around, well, wrap your band around your hook. And we'll chain 10. Well, actually, we're going to chain 11 because if you remember when we do a chain for a row we always have to let's do a nice untwisted end cap we always have to do an extra band so there's our end cap here's our first chain two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, now we do our eleventh. That's our extra one. Now, because we're going into a next row, we're going to take one of the next colour and chain that. Now, if you're not doing a different colour, you would still keep it the same colour but you still chain. Now we're going to skip the first, the white band and the first red chain and go to the second one from your hook. Take a white band and pull it through and you're going to just do a slip through like that. Okay, So you do your slip stitch here and then you've got your two loops here, you haven't crossed one over the other, you're pulling this through both and we'll do our row of single crochet okay just as if you're doing normal single crochet because you are <laughs> so here we are toddling along doing our normal single crochet down our row When you get to your last stitch, which has got the end cap on, put your hook through. Take your same colour that you're using for this row, pull it through. You're going to do a slip like that, add that little loop on, reclaim and chain one of the new colour. So I'll chain one with red, okay. I'm going to pinch this and take my hook out and move it the other side. Now, instead of just going all the way down coming through the front of the stitch again and doing single crochet all the way down which would give us our V's what we're going to do again you miss your chain you miss your first stitch we're going in this stitch here the second from our hook okay but instead of going through the front we're going to come in through the back like this now some people change their hands and actually then crochet with their left hand I am not that competent <laughs> and I'm, I'm still not fabulous at this put your hook put your band on your hook pull it through reclaim you're doing one over the other and this is our slip because we're on the edge pull it through those two red bands then you're going through your next stitch again from the back okay I tend to have it sort of so that it's straight up and you pull through 
and again you're doing a single crochets but you're doing them from the back and pull it through it can be a bit tricky you can take your time with it the more you do it the easier and more comfortable it will get <laughs> okay push through so re just remember when you're doing this you're working from the back even if you hold it to to the front sort of like I am you're working from the back of your work pulling the stitch through just doing a normal single crochet so you're pulling a stitch through putting one side over the other and pulling it through the loop okay just like you would normally pull it through one side over the other and pull it through this is this sing the reverse single crochet now at the end again you put your hook through still using the color for this row put it on the end of your hook pull it through and add this loop to it and reclaim don't do anything we're going to chain a white onto that okay and now we go through the front for this next so we have to do a little slip because we're on the on the edge here and now we just do a normal single crochet see how the V's are going all on one side and the little loops are all on the other side I'll show you as soon as I get to the end of this so you're just doing a normal single crochet to the end second last stitch here's our last one put your hook through pull it through add your loop chain your new color and drop it whichever you like <laughs> chain it I'm going to move my hook that's just from a comfort point of view see how we've got all the little loops this side and all the little V's this side so now I'm working on my red again I skip this first one that's on my hook I skip the first chain and I go through the back side here of the white okay pull it through reclaim one over the other pull through and then we just continue down the row one through just working from the back it's a little tricky pull it through but it's a nice look I, I feel anyway pull it through and all you're doing is one over the other and pulling it through joining the two loops together so there you go there's all your V's on one side and all your little loops on the other and this is the reverse single crochet enjoy bye bye